Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back to my average gotcha stuff. Alright. Oh, and lucky too, because I forgot that I had an extra video to do, so <laughs> I did not plan a third one, but thankfully work ended early today. So today we're going to talk about the brand new show, so Summon Code Showcase coming for Valentine's is called Dual Set Delights. Of course, if you like my Trigalia stuff, as always, leave a like. Uh, comment about how you feel about these Valentine's Day units, because I think they're pretty interesting. This is basically the end of a long stretch of just basically limited units, so let's get into it, let's talk about them. Uh, first things first, I should mention this stuff at the beginning because it ends up being kind of interesting. So it starts February 13th, which is basically at reset when you hear this. Um, the Summon Showcase features limited adventures and a new dragon, so that means the two adventures are um, limited but not the dragon. Uh, in addition, all the featured adventures and dragons have boosted appearance rates. The newly added 5 dragon, Epithetimus Shadow, may appear in future summon showcases. The following adventures who appeared in limited time adventures in the Ardnet Admirer's Summon Showcase also may appear in future summon showcases. 5 Valentine Hildegard, 4 Valentine Ezalef, and four, 3 Valentines Orion. Um, so that means either they're going to have their own banner, or maybe they're going to try and... You know, separate them from the rest. I don't know, 100% know what that means. Um, uh, the way Richard brought it up to it makes it seem like they might stop being limited at some point, which is really interesting. Now let's get to the next part. There's actually a trailer. Let me quickly go to Twitter. All right, I'm here. Let's go. Alright, that's a trailer for them. Showing off some of their moves as well, so let's get into them. Now we have Adventurer Valentine's Melody. This is the first date of my life and I'm not going to mess it up, as she says in the trailer. Melody throws her best out for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Date. Despite being accident prone as ever, she's also an awesome, optimistic kind of gal. She baked a host of treats for you to know who's filled them with love. But will her feelings be replicated? Reproduced? Replicated. All right, her skills. Now you'll see what I'm made of. Good pun. Deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead and creates a debuff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and reduces the defense of enemies inside of it for by 15%. A splash of affection. Deals wind damage to an enemy directly ahead and inflicts poison. Co-op ability. Critical damage 30%. Adds 30% to the modifier applied to critical damage. Benefits the whole team. Finally, her abilities are poison team strength 10%. Buffs the entire team strength by 10% for 10 seconds upon successful poisoning an enemy. After activation, this ability will not act again, activate again for 5 seconds. Block resistance 100%, and Poison Punisher 30%. So, uh, um, when uh, when we were when talking in the Trash Alliance Discord, um, or I was at least I was talking to Larry, I can't remember where he said it, but he is very interested to see how Valentine's Melody kind of does to... Um, the High Dragon Trial for Mercury, HMC. Uh, especially because a lot of that fight is kind of like standing in one place of your attack. It's three attackers and then one person is basically running running around like a scared chicken, trying not to get killed. But the main thing is that the three attackers are nonstop just like whacking them ahead. And with her having Poison Punisher and Poisoning at the same time and also having a defense down and also being able to buff the entire team strength for 10% and crit damage... I don't know. I think she'd be really good in there. It might actually pave the way for someone besides Welly, um, Wedding Ellie, Bride Ellie, you know. Because uh, the current, I think the, turn, the current best team comp is one Noel, one Victor, and then two Bride uh, uh, Ellies. So, I don't know. I'm interested to see. Uh, hopefully she does kind of shake that up, because I actually super don't like High Mercury. Um, 
we're trying to plan a video of it and I'm trying to learn it and it's just so much stupid things to learn uh, and it's super annoying so if she makes it actually super easy to kill it she might be my girl to get especially being limited why uh, why are you limited she also will probably replace Lin Yu as terms of axe unit except for when I think you need defense because I think Lin Yu is more about defense than anything else anyway that's Melody I like her I like how she looks interested to see how she does in specifically her environment and now let's go down to the adventurer, Valentine's 8. I also say in terms of girl, I was not expecting Melody, but hey, why not? Need to show more love to all the units in Dragalia, because trust me, there's a lot. Next one, Valentine's Addis. Is it Addis or Adis? Let's go with Addis. I'll face your feelings with my whole heart. The warrior from another land throws on his only nice outfit for a romantic rendezvous. He's working hard to share his feelings, but his green attempts at his green attempts at courtship lead to disaster distress. Still, his awkward kindness drives some wild. Course judgment. Deal shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies and inflict poison. The lower the user's HP, the more damage the skill does. Love's triumph. If the user's HP is less than 30% their max HP, when using this skill, grants all teammates one use shield that nullifies damage less than 30% of the user's maximum HP. If the user's HP is above or equal to 30% to their max HP, when using this skill, reduces their HP to 20% of max HP and grants them a one use divergent shield that nullifies damage less than 80% of the user's maximum HP. Divergent shields can stack with ordinary shields. Co-op ability skill haste. Poison punisher 30%. Paralysis resistance 100%. And HP below 30% equals strength and attack rate up. Increases the strength by 20%. Attack rate by 10%. And HP is below 30% or below. So similar to Lucas Stalker. I can't remember. It's the red bow unit where they kind of get... The lower HP they are, the stronger they are. The difference is that this guy has... A shield. That shield is nuts. And also having um, Poison Punisher is nuts, especially because he goes so well with the new dragon here. Um, this is definitely one of those fights that I'm not too familiar with, so I'm not sure how he'll affect there. I understood Lerp was kind of... Lerp is my go-to, by the way. Anytime I have any questions, I always ask Lerp, who is one of the co-founders of Trash Alliance, next to uh, Nabe, a.k.a. Jom. Shoutouts to both of them if they're watching this, by the way. Anyway, back to this guy. I don't know, I think he seems pretty cool to me. Uh, I think this is a weird dude to add for Valentine's Day, by the way. But I'm kind of digging it. Not your traditional handsome dude, but he looks buff as hell. He's, he's brown, so I'm automatically down with the brownness anytime I see brown character representation. Him and Victor are freaking awesome looking, too. I love their designs. So I wouldn't be too mad, sad to get this guy right here. Especially since he seems really weird, like, in terms of how he deals damage. The one thing I'm wondering is, you know, the Berserker style of a, of unit where they have to be super low HP to do anything. I don't know if that's my style of play, but you know what? I'm interested to see how... I'm, I'm, will I'm willing to see and wait to see what people do with this guy, because he seems like on paper he'd be pretty fun. It's only a matter of time of seeing if that fun is true because he kind of is held back by the fact that he is an archer. At least to me, I think. I think the there's very few good archers, but there are certain archers that can definitely, um, or bow units. Archer, I'm getting it mixed with fake Grand Order because they're called archers there. But either way, you get what I'm saying is that bow units kind of have to be way better in order to kind of stave off the fact that their four strike is just pure garbage. But all right. Let's go into the last unit we have here. Ep 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 Epimetheus? Kind of like Prometheus, but his, like, weird brother. Look at me, acknowledge me, love me. I, I kind of was laughing at his intro. A lonely dragon that awakened to the power of darkness. <laughs> it's kind of funny that Dragalia adds a, um, anti-Valentine's Day unit for Valentine's Day. Actually kind of fits, because last year, the Prometheus, so maybe it's his brother, that's why they're like keeping it up with the Prometheus, and next year we'll have the final brother. His three older brothers showed him no affection, leaving him starved for love. This yearning grew twisted and reduced him to a being of calamity that his siblings had sought to prevent. Toxic solitude deals shadow damage to the surrounding enemies and inflicts poison. Shadow strength 50%. If the user is attuned to shadow, increase the strength by 50%. And shadow poison punisher 20%. If the user is attuned to shadow, increase the damage to poison enemies by 20%. 
that's great. And I'm glad that he's not um, limited because a lot of dark current in their meta, I think there's two metas as far as I'm aware of. And again, I'm made aware of this usually by Lerp, is that there is the Galicleo cheese, which is the same old everyone run Galicleo and then everyone just like bum rush the event till it's done. Uh, and then there's the Poison Punisher team, which is a team filled with usually dudes who have their mana uh, spirals, like Lafna. Um, I want to say her name is Claudia, but that's not her name. Um, is it Doxy? Delphi? There you go, it's Delphi. It's all the shadow dudes who basically have anything to do with shadow, and they're um, the shadow poison, and exploiting Poison Punisher until they're dead. So this dragon definitely fits into one right there. So, and I'm glad he's not limited, because that would actually be a real bummer if the Poison Punisher Dragon... It's similar to how, um, for C Dragul, that, um, that dragon was Paralyzed Punisher. And so this one's Poison Punisher, and only kind of fitting. So I'm glad he's not limited. But yeah, that's, that's Dual Set Delights. I think I'm going to have a summon video for this. Um, this is the hard part of the video where I feel like, I don't know if you should, like, summon for these dudes? I think Melody's definitely worth it. I think Itis is really cool, but are both, like, is both of them worth? Especially since a lot of people are tapped out after Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter bled people dry, especially once it was revealed how crazy good Hunter Sarase was. So, I don't know. Hopefully they throw out some free multis. I would love it. If anything, maybe for Valentine's Day, um, 12,000 War Might. You know, give a free multi, that'd be perfectly fine with me. But yeah, this is the last of the limited banners, and then it's back to saving. We're also going to get a new um, chapter pretty soon. Now, I can't show it here. I think I can show it here, actually. One moment. Let me do another quick pause, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so this was found in the data mines. It is the uh, the dragon for Chell, your sister. Kat Sith, I, I believe is that how you pronounce it? Kate Sith? Depending on which, whatever. Anyway, Katsif, he's found in the data downloads. I don't know what it could mean. I think there might be some hints that the next... I think this is definitely for next story chapter, because I don't think see them releasing this dude on Valentine's Day. But chances are the next chapter will deal with your sister and her dragon. And if which case, there will probably be a boss battle. And then maybe finally, since now that all the galley units basically have... All the main cast characters... Except for Alex and the new robot girl that joined us. I can't remember her name because she's never in any story stuff. Um, they don't have galley units, but I think it might be finally time for them to add Chell to the party. <laughs> so maybe, you know, this is all speculation on my part. It's literally just a picture of a fat cat, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's the last thing I want to talk about. Now go back in here. All right. So anyway, that's today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Comment about what you feel about Valentine's Day. Are you summoning? Are you not summoning? Are you interested in the Valentine's Day units are showing? Like, how do you feel? <sighs> and finally, with that, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hey, I do a lot of good stuff. I play Phoenix Wright even though no one watches it. <laughs> but whatever, the, 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 the 20 people who saw that Phoenix Wright all, almost all left a like. Half of them left a like. And if the people in Phoenix Wright can show you up, if you made it this far, chances are... Because more people watch this video than the Phoenix Wright stuff, you should leave a like. Because I don't want to see feed the you don't want to have get put up by the Phoenix Wright people, right? Come on, help a brother out too. Anyway, I've rammed on long enough. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye bye.